Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on YSL. We're going to be talking about the YSL clutch and we are going to be talking about the YSL walk. Now, I did do an unboxing recently on the clutch, but I thought it was time to kind of just do a little comparison. Let's just talk a little bit about each of these bags and I also want to show you guys what fits in this or in this clutch because I actually want to move some stuff over because I want to start using this little bag. And lastly, I wanted to share a little sneak peek of something that I'm super excited about. But before we get started, my name is Jenny. I am obsessed with many things. I'm first off, obsessed with luxury, obsessed with handbags, jewelry, fashion. I mean, honestly, anything that kind of just can elevate life and elevate my wardrobe a little bit. I just absolutely love. If you guys love things like that too, then please consider subscribing. And as always, I love talking about reviews, comparisons. I like to help you guys figure out if that bag is right for you or if that piece or product is the best for your lifestyle. If you guys want to see more of what I put out, I release two videos per week. So please click that notification button and let's just get started. Also just real, really quickly wanted to announce, I had posted on YouTube and asked you guys if you guys will be interested in seeing a vlog sale because recently I started collaborating with OC Luxury and you guys know how much I love their stuff. I sometimes will post and share some stuff that I know they're doing. Um, I am just a real fan of vintage or just like pre-loved items because the prices right now are getting insane and quality is just not as good as it used to be. And you guys know, I always tell you guys whenever I pick up new stuff. So, you know, not to say I won't buy new stuff, but I want to start investing in, you know, like vintage pieces because that's where my heart is. Like, especially when it comes to like Louis Vuitton and Chanel and things like that. Um, I thought it'd be fun or it doesn't have to be vintage, but just pieces that I can get for a better discount and still in good quality. I mean, that's, I think the key. So I thought it'd be fun to partner with them and do a collab video. Um, they have beautiful inventory. I went to their office and I saw some of the upcoming stuff that they're selling and it is just so beautiful. And I asked if I could share them with you guys because I feel like you guys would love some of the stuff too. So I am going to go and hand pick out some items and see what I can share with you guys for Friday. So stay tuned. But before that happens, I thought it'd be fun to do a quick sneak peek. Now, this is one of the items that's up on their shop. I don't know if it's actually online yet, but this is a Chanel piece and I posted it last week. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you guys know what this is already, but this is basically brand new. I think it, I mean, it's a full set, right? It comes with the care card, the ribbon, the, the tag. So here is the item right here. And I honestly don't even know if the person ever used this wallet. I was trying to look for anything. It To me, it looks like perfect condition. So basically new. They no longer have this on the Chanel website anymore, I don't believe. But it has a pocket here. This is actually meant for like a phone um, slash wallet. So you could stick your phone in here put your cards in here or put your wallet or sorry, put your phone in here and then put like keys or whatever. So it's like a grab and go. You can use it as a wallet. You can use it as like a clutch like this. I just think it's so cute. Like I'm so tempted to get this because that matches my Chanel 19 perfectly, but I just, you know, I shouldn't because I need to get other stuff, but how cute is this piece? But I just wanted to kind of show you like some of the stuff that could be on the box. So look at the inside of this. Do you see those slots? It's like in this beautiful like fuchsia red pink kind of color, but I love how you can put like cars in there. Also cars in here too. Look, and still has his original inserts. So yeah, this piece is beautiful. It's a lambskin. Um, Again, like I just thought it would give you a sneak peek. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to be organizing the vlog. Is it going to be by brand or is it going to be like just a little bit of everything? So I'll let you guys know when I find out. Um, thank you so much to those who had 
reach out to me and let me know what kind of stuff you want to see. I definitely let them know because I know um, OC Luxury is trying hard at sourcing some of those items for you guys. So super excited for that. I just love collaborating with companies that I personally love myself. So I thought it'd be fun, but you know, let me know what you guys think. Okay, first off, let's talk about the walk. I've had this walk for, I think I got this in 2020 actually. And again, like I, it's very rare at least that I will buy a bag for an occasion. Meaning like, I don't say like, I'm gonna buy a bag for events only or buy a bag for weddings only. Like when I buy a bag, I will buy it in the mindset of everyday use. So when I bought this walk, although many would, argue that this is you know on the dressier side i was like you know what 2020 i know at the time we weren't really going out but i was like i'm gonna use this walk so i don't need to carry that much and to me this is a great everyday walk because i don't need to carry that much and i honestly used to wear this with even like gym clothes and it was fine um and i started using this bag again and just i'm so happy i got it now this bag like i said it's probably a couple years yeah since 2020 a couple years old and it's held up beautifully i have no issues now this was my first ysl piece i ever bought because you know prior to this i just never really looked into the brand but now that i have this walk i have a couple different pieces from ysl and i just every time i think the quality is really great now I bought this walk because I wanted a wallet on chain and I was debating between this and the Chanel. Now the Chanel wallet on chain is beautiful, but I felt like it fit less and this fit more. And I felt like overall it had more, I guess like bang for its buck. And I just thought it was really beautiful. Now at the time I bought this, I think it was like 15, 20 was the retail price. I'm not sure what it is now. I'll throw it up on screen. Um, but again, like I use this for everyday wear. Now it is a wallet on chain, meaning that this is not a clutch, right? It comes with this. So you can see that this part right here has an area. You can actually undo it and make it a clutch, or you can adjust it a little bit to make it longer. I like this one. There's another, this is a bigger size. There's another wallet on chain that's slightly smaller, but the drop length of that is a lot longer and it is slightly smaller than this therefore i went with this one um but yeah no regrets i if you ask me like is it worth the price i would still say yes i think for wallet on chains this one is by far my favorite out of all the fashion houses just in my humble opinion um however yeah like if you want something more affordable or try out the clutch is the way to go and i'll share that with you guys in a little bit but yeah so just to go over the bag really quickly just to show you the bag a little bit it comes in a compartment so it has this front compartment a middle and a back and you can put cards here there's a little slot here too so technically if you didn't want to carry a wallet you can just use the card slots the older version had uh card slots over here too but this one does not this one is actually leather it's actually really soft and supple inside this part's leather and the middle part i use as almost like a cosmetic pouch where i put like small things in here and the zipper is all also like very buttery so overall this is a fairly easy to use bag although this is a very casual outfit let me just show you where it hits i am five five it hits right above the hips and honestly like i just really like this bag even though i now own the clutch i have no regrets of getting this bag i absolutely think it's great now here is the clutch so just so you know the clutch actually does not come with the chain and it has a little loop that i actually remove but it's a wristlet clutch clutch slash like wristlet however you want to call it um, but for me personally, I bought this with the intention of making it a crossbody. And this is not new to YouTube. If you guys follow other YouTube videos when it comes to luxury bags and stuff like that, I'm sure you've seen it many times. But for me, I personally really like it. Um, I will probably always use it as a crossbody. I'm just not like a clutch person. I feel like I might leave my bag and forget about it. Um, but as a clutch, I think it's perfect. And also as a crossbody, I think it's really nice too. Now I'm actually going to start using this bag. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of 
just go over the bag with you to see what fits inside. So first off, this is the wallet that I've been using. This is my Tigerama. This one is nice and flat, so it actually just goes right inside. As you can see, it just sits like this. Now, this insert I will drop below. This is one I picked up from Amazon. Now, this one comes with like um, slots and things like that. And I mean, I think it's fine for the purpose, but really quickly, I haven't used this bag yet, so I don't wanna, you know, give too much detail. Insert itself, I'm sorry to photo, but the ring actually fell out already. So I think this insert is around 30 something dollars. It's probably not the best insert. Um, I think it's fine if you don't wanna spend that much. I mean, I'm okay with it. But, you know, other people have written me and let me know this Morgan one is way better. And I'm sure it is. Morgan has really nice inserts. Um, theirs is higher, however. I think the insert itself is probably like 40 50 But then plus like shipping and stuff, it obviously adds up. So if you're looking at a very, it's probably like double the price point. But it is going to be better. This one is a little bit flimsy. I didn't really like the gold chain it came with. I just put on a gold chain I have here. I also have some beautiful gold chains from Next Fashion. I might order some more to add to this bag because I know that um, their chains are better. The one that came with this insert on Amazon is like not the best, the gold's a little off. So just wanna throw it out there in case you're thinking about getting it. I would say like if you're just looking for something that does the job and you don't wanna spend that much, you know, like me, then yeah, get the Amazon version. But I think later I might look into Smorga one just because I know it'll be better long-term. But yeah, so here is the wallet. I will definitely need to carry a mirror because I like to have mirrors with me. So because there's a little slot, I think it actually fits really nicely back there. Carry some Tylenol. I mean, you would just need to carry flat things. Here is my multi-pochette. I think if you didn't have to insert, this would actually fit in and you could col you probably could button it up, but it would just be a little bulky. I don't need to carry this because it's almost like the same size as the actual clutch slash crossbody. You guys know I carry this for my rings. I'm just put this one outside the insert though. If I wanted to fit a battery pack, I could just make sure. Scrunchy, chapstick, and then I do have a key fob I could probably just place right on top. I don't have it here with me. So you can see it does bulge out a little bit like this, but nonetheless, I still think it will close. I don't mind if bags bulge out a little bit, but you can see there's a little warping happening. So I probably wouldn't carry that much. Um, for example, I'll bring this, I'm doing like long days out, but I don't need to carry this because my Pro Max usually keeps for the day. So I normally don't have any issues with that. Um, and then, yeah, everything else is probably my daily stuff. So I will leave it. And yeah, a little bulging, not too much though. And I'm okay with it. Here is what this bag looks like. Now, this is not the chevron print. This is the quilted print. I think it's just so pretty. I love like the details and you guys know how I feel about the YSL beige. It's just so nice. Um, if you guys ask me like what actually fits more, the YSL walk as well as this actually fits about the same amount of stuff. Um, I think the only difference is if you have the insert in here, it's gonna fit less. If you have, and that one, you don't need an insert. Obviously it has its own slots. It can fit a lot too. This might fit a teeny bit more if you did not have the insert. So let me try to show you this without the insert and let's see what we can fit inside. But here, let me just drop in my wallet over here, put in my pouch. I usually like to carry my sunscreen chapstick, scrunchy. let's see if this fits inside. Let's now throw back in the battery pack, pretend these are my keys.
and it actually all fits. Oops, I didn't. And it actually does all fit. There is bulging though, but it does fit. Now, let's see if I can put everything here into the wallet on chain. I usually try not to stuff my bags, but I always like to show like what the max is so people get an idea. I would always put my wallet up front here. It sits beautifully back there. If I were to carry my battery pack, I would open this one up and put like my chapstick. I would put my sunscreen back here, my pouch, my keys, scrunchie, key pouch, in the middle here. So yeah, it fits as well. Also, some bulging on the side, but on this from the front, you can't really tell. So in my opinion, both the clutch and wallet on chain fits about the same. Yeah, I would say definitely it's a pretty like apples to apples comparison. So capacity wise, the two are very similar. Now the price difference is different. The price of the walk, like I said, is like 15 something. This one is, I think 750 on YSL. Now I got this in Hawaii, so it was a little bit less. I think all in it was probably around six something. So it's a little bit less than what it would be at YSL, which I personally think is a great deal. Cause like I said, I plan on using it as a crossbody. Here is the insert really quickly. So here's the insert. I'll drop all the information below. Now this part used to have like gold D rings. Uh, I'll drop a photo, but it actually came off. It was like so flimsy, but I mean, I don't really care too much about it. I'll probably replace this later anyways. So here's what I did because when you put the chain, like hook it up on each of these thing, each of these holes, it becomes really long. And you guys know I don't love a long um, chain drop. However, it's really personal preference. Some people like it long, some people like it shorter, and it depends on your height, right? So for me personally, I didn't like it. But what I did was, I actually just looped, as you guys can see, the entire thing around here and then closed it up over here. So it made it number one shorter, but number two, the main thing, reason why I did it is because when you actually put the hook over here, it scratches and rubs against the actual bag right over here. And I'm just worried in time, it might actually create some sort of wear or damage on the bag. Um, and I felt like this might have a little bit of rubbing as well, but it's not gonna be as much as it would be if I were to, you know, like, because you don't have like a hard um, clasp, it's just like the chain itself. And this, the chain I picked for this one is pretty rounded. So it's a little bit softer to the touch. So I don't know, that was just my thought process, but we'll see like after time. I'll, I always like doing like wear and tear updates as I start using the bag more um, to help figure out, you know, if that's the right solution or not. But yeah, so it just looks like this. And when I wear it, I love like where this drops and it's very similar to the wallet on chain as well. The wallet on chain one is also not very long. It's pretty short. So some people like it, some people don't. Some people prefer that as a shoulder bag. With this length, I can wear it like this or as a shoulder. So either way, I personally am loving it. So I'm gonna try it out and see and then report back and let you guys know what I think about it. That is pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to do a little comparison and then also just switch into this bag so I can start using it. And then don't forget, if you guys are interested in seeing a vlog sale for this week, um, my goal is to get it done on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking through the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.